Yo guys, welcome to my Trails of Cold Steel walkthrough guide on Nord Highlands North Monster. So you get this side quest from your daily task and then you want to go talk to the father here. Just ask about the monster and he's going to say, yeah, there's one up in Nord Highlands. We should probably go kill it. This is a pretty tough fight. I actually died on it once. Well, I didn't die. I ran away. But I would recommend filling up all your guys' CP gauges just to make sure that you can use your S breaks. Like everybody in your party, not just your main four. It'll help your fight out a lot. And especially with Alyssa for her blessed arrow ability to fill up CP and heal everybody. But anyway, once you're done talking to him, we'll head to the Nord Highlands. So we'll head to the north part, and then here's the location of where the boss is. It's pretty close to the entrance, but there you go on the map. So we're just going to head over there, and like I mentioned, just make sure you fill up your CP and stuff. Make sure you guys are rested. This is a pretty tough fight. This is like a big golem dude, and he will hit more than one character if they're close together and he also has like a an area of effect that will hit the whole screen that will hit your guys for like 1500 so here's the uh, golem guy uh, most spells don't work really good with them but I found that soul blur worked pretty well with them I didn't find that out till near the end of the fight but this fight kind of goes on for a little while so I'm gonna do all my commentary that I can for this for you guys so that smash attack is the one that he uses to hit multiple enemies. So I just started popping off my S breaks. And uh, yeah, I should have like cut these out, but it's not too, too bad, I guess. But they hit for moderate damage, 36 for that one. The new character that you got, if you have 200 CP, it hits for like six or 7,000, so she can pretty juice her up pretty good too. I forget what her name is, Melinia or something. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to do another S-Break thing. Um, I wouldn't use the ones for Alyssa because you want to use hers to um, fill up your other guy's CP. So we go, we got ATS down, which I think is speed for when their turns happen. But I found that uh, delaying these guys' turn didn't work the best. So I just kind of stopped doing it. So here's Blessed Arrow. I'm just topping everybody off and uh, getting CP. I kind of used uh, Emily, I think her name is. It's my turn. Emma. I used Emma to uh, heal everybody. I just pretty much strictly used her for that because her attack hit boss for like one so it's like well it's not really worth using it so here I'm just switching out a character to use an S break I kind of just attack to see how much damage it did and then hit the S break boom and I would kind of like save one S break like for the guy that's in your group currently in case he gets like a 50% HP bonus or something. You don't want him to like heal halfway up and be like, oh, I got to do more of this fight now. So I'm just hitting them with uh, normal attacks here, I think. Nope, doing the blessed arrow thing. Got to top people off. I don't think I'm sure what I'm doing yet. We're going to have to figure this one out. Okay, I'm going to heal up Emma. So there we go. I think what I was planning on there is like, if his turn wasn't up soon, then I probably would have uh, gave the other one CP or something. So here we're going to do some uh, healing. I wanted to keep Emma up because uh, my first attempt at this, the, she, she was just dying like every five seconds, so I kind of need her for, uh, for that. So right here I'm spreading them apart so his attack will only hit one instead of two people it just makes it a lot easier and then I still f totally forgot that I haven't brought back the other character so here we did I was actually kind of interested in this one because I'm like what what's her ability and then I gotta figure out what button to hit because I've never really done that before so we're gonna just checking out her skills now as I haven't used her yet 
was like, okay, and I'm gonna hit over the attack, and then I'm gonna use my S break. And I accidentally used like a combo thing, so I'm, I'm guessing that's okay. It did 500 damage. So here we go, we got Lemmy doing his thing, turning into a big, gigantic hammer. Got some Harley Quinn stuff going right now, and then boom. Like I said, it hits pretty good if your SP is like 200. It's my turn. 7,000. I kind of liked her attack, so I actually kept her in the fight. And this is almost getting to the point where I uh, started experimenting with skills. My first attempt, I noticed like a lot of them were hitting for like one or he was immune or whatever. Like it's so crazy. Like you're so used to like doing fights a certain way and then now he's immune to everything. So there's this big stomp attack. So let's make sure you guys are all topped off for that. Just so you don't lose. Once you kind of lose a party member, that you're really going fighting an uphill battle at that point. So here I'm just trying to top people off. So I'm going to use her to heal somebody. There we go. That was a good miss. A good old counter. So his limit thing's full again. It's my turn. You handle this? I've got this. I don't know why I didn't use his S break there, but I probably should have. Anyway, we'll keep going. So I'm just filling up her uh, SCP a bit. I keep calling it SP. Too much trails of this guy, I guess. It's my turn. So I'm just going to pop off a heal here. Keep everybody topped off. No. So see his critical thing coming up? That was what I was originally saving the CP thing for, but I didn't have it. So I was like, I'll try to delay his turn. That's when I found out delay doesn't really work. So it's like, well, we're going to have to eat a crit. And going through my head at the time was like, please don't do the area of effect thing. Because that would be really bad. But he never did. I think he missed. Yep, so. All good for me. But I found her attack, Millennium or whatever her name is, uh, did triggered the uh, Link attack a lot. So she's probably a good person to have. So there's his uh, health plus 10%. That's where you would want an S break. But uh, I didn't really have one available, which kind of sucks. Because then you'd use the S break on his turn. But if not, well, since he's got like 30 something thousand HP, he's going to heal up 30 or 3,000 health. And he's doing his AoE thing. I'll we'll get some attacks in here. So Not sure what I'm doing here. Okay, attack. Yeah. Then we're gonna do some healing here. I have her beefed up pretty good for uh, magic stuff. Do, do some more blessed arrow action just to heal up. <laughs> so now I can use her S break again. I'm just kind of holding on to it until another one fills up, then I was going to blow it. I think that was my plan when I was uh, recording this. Because hers did so much damage compared to everybody else's. Get a heal going here. And there we go. That's break time. Time to get my big hammer out. And boom. This one only hit for like four because it was only five that or one hundred CP, it's hundred and ten maybe. So another attack. Get some healing going. So we're doing pretty good now. We're like cruising for the most part. I'm just moving her a little bit closer so I can hit uh Reen with the blessed arrow. Maybe hit them both.
Get an attack in there, and then uh, he's gonna do his thing. And we're just gonna heal. So I keep everybody full on this fight. Reen's got a lot of HP though, as I got like HP plus two and HP plus one. So here's where I start experimenting with uh, abilities because it had zero arts. So I was like, boom, and I was like, oh wow, that hit for a thousand. So. That's what I'm doing for Reen for the time being, until the fight's over. If I knew that at the beginning, then I would have been keep, I would have kept doing it the whole time. So here we're gonna heal up a bit, so she doesn't have any SP or anything. So we gotta build some up. We got another Link attack here. Soul Blur, bam, another thousand. Gonna do a heal here. Another Soul Blur. We've uh, adapted to the fight now. Well, she's going to need a Band-Aid for sure. So another Soul Blur. Another Link Attack going. And boom. D get a heal going. Milliam needs a heal. That's what her name is. I couldn't remember. I'll probably remember that by the end of the game. I'm terrible with names. Alright, so we're just building up CP. Just plugging away at the fight. Get a heal going. She's pretty much juiced up now. That was a good mess. That filled up her break, limit break thing. And let's finish off the fight, shall we? Pretty sure this was the last thing I did. And... And that's it for the fight. It's pretty challenging fight, but once you like kind of figure it out, and then um, you get lots of EXP and stuff too. Like all my abilities are leveling now, nice. and then everybody else level. But once you're done, you're just gonna head back to town and turn in the quest. If you guys found this guide helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. It'll help the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching, and have yourselves a great day.